Hello folks, Jared here and welcome to another episode of Auto Legends. Dude, it feels so good saying that. Anyways, yesterday we took uh, a first look at the game, you know, seeing uh, that it looks really amazing and that, you know, all the elements of a really fun game are there. Uh, there are some issues with the game still, you know, for example, the whole burnout mechanic and uh, the camera in uh, like uh, multiplayer being a bit janky but uh, you know that's what the alpha test is for anyways uh, I wanted to do something a little bit uh, more in-depth today so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build a car I should point out I'm not sure if I mentioned this yesterday but we do appear to have some features that will be coming like exotic imports and the memory lane classic so this could potentially be a, uh, like an auction house kind of thing anyway fast studies is the car dealership that we have available as of right now so let's see what we have in store and uh okay there is a bunch of cool stuff including this uh rx7 i think this is the savannah like version of the car and um i, I do have to say like that uh, front end and the rear end are really interesting together if you're not you know used to it i think this is like the front end from a mazda rx3 which uh well, I mean, it's really nice to see, you know, all of the modified cars making their, uh, like, appearance in the used car lot. Anyways, mm, I actually had a particular car that I wanted to upgrade. Let's take a look at the inventory. Um, also, the car prices are a bit janky because uh, they actually cost more than they say they do. I think, uh, like, it's uh, off by one decimal, so this WRX is gonna be, like, a 40k, something like that. Um... The prices are a bit weird though because the STI uh, appears to cost less, but again, this thing is glitched, it is gonna get fixed eventually I would presume, so there's a lot of Integras, a lot of Civics as well, and some 3000 GTs, uh, it's nice to see, you know, all the versions that we speculated on being in the game, you know, so the 3000 GT SL and the VR4 as well. That is really cool, um, hmm, I actually wanted to build an Eclipse, but... And for the first build, you know what? I think we're gonna go for a Subi and uh, we're gonna go for a WRX. Sure. Why not? Uh, okay, that car appears to be there out of sign. Uh, well, this is WRX STI apparently, even though it's said that it's only like a regular WRX. Okay. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy this thing. Why not? So we're gonna deliver the car to the garage and uh, We're gonna have a stock run with it to see how slow I am with it It is kind of interesting because it does have some uh, WRX STI parts on it like the front bumper meaning that hey can you actually put like uh, you know premium parts like uh, you know STI bumpers on WRX and holy shit you can have People up badging in Auto Legends. Jesus Christ, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's go ahead and challenge this guy. Uh, again, the decimals are a bit iffy. Anyways, let's uh, race for 0. 0.000. Oh. Let's see how much is that. We're probably gonna lose that. Anyways, a cash race. So, uh, another uh, glitch which happens to me specifically and not to anyone else, which is, you know. Um, unfortunate is the fact that the burnout is a bit um, iffy. Uh, burnout mechanic doesn't work properly for me. You can't actually rev the car past like two and a half K when you rev, which is unfortunate. Uh, granted, there is another thing um, that you guys might be looking at it weirdly. By the way, this is a hundred percent throttle. Um, this Subi is four wheel drive, as you guys will know, and uh, that means that you shouldn't be able to do. A burnout with it anyway, so uh, that is definitely gonna get fixed. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and launch this thing to see how quick it actually is. Anyways, let's try to get a perfect launch here. Okay, well, technically we did get a perfect launch. Anyways, you can also switch the camera angle. There's two camera angles. I can already tell I'm gonna be using the one that we currently have, but there's also this one. Anyways, let's spam the guy. Bam, you can just see the fucking stickers flying at him. Calling the bot a noob. Ah, we dominated him. Amazing. Anyways, let's see what time we got. We also got 0. 0.000 dollars. Let's take a look at our time. Okay, so uh, 15 seconds. Okay, let's see how much uh, quicker we can make the card with some modifications. So let's go to the speed lab shop and see what's up. 
All right, hopping onto this thing, we can uh, now see basically the performance rating and the car class, which is E, apparently. This thing has uh, 185 horsepower. Well, uh, okay, uh, we are gonna go ahead and just start modifying this thing, basically the same way we would on racing rivals. Now, for the alpha, uh, one thing that I should probably point out instantly is that the progress from this version of the game is not gonna carry over to the actual release of the game that would be very unfair especially because you can get money just by like a you know a click of a button over here so um obviously all of these cars uh will be like nullified when the game comes out anyways uh here is basically the upgrade menu and it seems um very straightforward uh, similar to Racing Rivals, um, it does appear like basically, you know, the more the part is to the right, the better it is. So I do hope that they're gonna, you know, at least add decibels and let us, you know, have a better think about, you know, how much horsepower this thing adds and seeing if it's actually worth putting on the car the same way that it was in Racing Rivals, because uh, as of right now, you know, there really isn't any reason to look at, you know, all the descriptions of the parts because it's basically, hey, this part is more to the right, so obviously it's going to be the best one. Anyways, um, it does work for what it is, but I do think that uh, this could use some tweakings. Holy shit, plus 100 horsepower. Does the WRX not have a turbo? That's, that's fucking crazy. Anyways, uh, okay, okay. Uninstall the Subaru underscore Impreza WRX stock fine okay okay um well that's on there now anyways uh let's see one the cooler as well yeah the reason why i chose this car is because i have a personal connection to the wrx sti the 051 on racing rivals this was actually a car uh, that I had the world record for and this was um, Basically my very best racing video of racing rivals was with this car. So it's a bit of a trip down memory lane anyways uh, I do want a hmm, Catalytic converter doesn't add any horsepower should be still like uh, I don't know how much of a difference actually some of these things do make so um Sure, sure. We're just gonna put the expensive part. We're just gonna treat this car right anyways uh, it is adding a lot of weight though, so, um, you know, I'm sure that uh, eventually someone's gonna find out if the car is actually quicker without those parts. We can actually do that on, on a live stream. Granted, I do kind of suck at the game, so here we go. We also have nitrous now and some suspension, which uh, for some reason only increases the weight heavily. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna put suspension on it, uh, especially if it only adds weight, that, uh, that thing should be, like, you know, there to reduce the weight, but, oh well. Anyways, a drive shaft also adds uh, weight, so we're not gonna be adding that. Uh, and the transmission as well, okay, okay. We can do the transmission just because I do want to tweak the, uh, like, uh, gear ratios and stuff. Also the differential, okay, that also adds uh, weight, but still, we're gonna go with the far right one. A clutch, okay, okay, a clutch should make a bit of a difference, so let's do that. Fuck, this build's actually gonna be pretty expensive, anyways. Flywheel, yeah, we're gonna add the flywheel. And of course, we have a bunch of different drag tires. I do hope that, you know, all of these tires will be better in different conditions, unlike on Racing Rivals, where you just got the most expensive ones and you were done. Uh, oddly enough, the performance tires, what, what is this, like the Pirelli <laughs> P40, anyways. Um, we're gonna go for the radial slick. I think that that should probably be the best. Um, and brakes as well, uh, which actually do make the car lighter so there you go finally a part which uh, takes weight of the car uh let's see okay fully got it let's fully get the car uh that's actually not shown in the interior but that could be done in the final version uh then we have uh, a roll cage which only adds money uh adds money adds weight i don't think that this is something that we're gonna go for anyways we actually see the stats in here so Holy shit, we're gonna add 206 horsepower and 189 pound-feet of torque and 65 pounds. Um, there's actually um, a way for you to actually change like the whole stats from Imperial to Matric, which is gonna be nice because I actually don't know how much one pound is. Anyways, we're gonna fast forward this because we can and we're gonna modify this thing visually, which is honestly what I was looking forward to. And wait, this thing has 360 horsepower now, which is insane. Anyway, uh, front bumper. Okay, there's a bunch of different options. 
so let's see. Okay, we can actually change the camera like this. Uh, some STI versions as well. <laughs> okay, hey, that's pretty cool, honestly. Anyway, uh, which one should we go for? There is uh, like the phone splitter option as well. I, you kind of like the STI, but you know what? We're not gonna up bad, so we're gonna go for the one that doesn't have the STI stuff on it. Uh, which actually kind of limits our option to only like these three. I guess we can go for this one and the front splitter. Ooh, that kind of looks mean actually. Uh, why does it say STI instantly? Oh, because we didn't buy the fucking bumper. Should probably do that. So let's add that to cart. And... Sure, sure. We're gonna go for that one. Let's see the side skirts now, though. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Uh, this one looks the best, I would say. Who the... Okay, that looks pretty mean. We do have some carbon fiber options for all cars, it seems. Uh, sure, we can go for a, like a stock looking carbon fiber one. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, roof options as well. Apparently we have some Acura parts, which is interesting. Okay, that adds like the, the tail fins, I guess. That's how you would call it. Uh, we do have um, that thing, which uh, might add downforce, but it looks absolutely ridiculous. So we're not going to do that. We can add the carbon fiber one, sure. That looks pretty mean. The trunk options, we have... Ooh, we do have a carbon fiber option, sure. Sure, you know what? I'm a sucker for that. And we do have... Uh, okay, we can just remove the spoiler. Or we can put... Of course, we're gonna put this one. I, I think this one looks by far the best out of the options here. Isn't that the stock one as well, though? Anyways, let's put some rims on the car now. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, there's a, a fairly limited option of the wheels so far, uh, but that's, that's okay, I suppose, you know, it is very early on in the game's life cycle, so, okay, okay, mm, I, there's like three different wheel designs that I'm gonna use for the entirety of Alpha before they had more wheels, honestly, uh, and I, I just think we gotta go for these ones, quite frankly, <laughs> they look the best, anyways, uh, we should probably check out not used to that anyways let's purchase these and uh finish it we're also going to be re repainting it now i do like that you know it's in classic subi blue but yeah of course we're gonna have to put a different like uh paint on it let's see what are the manufacturer options oh i do like the yellow and the subi uh, there was a person in a live stream yesterday with a yellow subi and honestly it looked so clean uh, white looks really good. Like, honestly, all of the paints just look extremely good um, on the cars here. But let's take a look at the hue here. Uh, green, no, I, I think that's way too exotic for a car like this. Uh, purple, oh, dude, I, I kind of want to go like bluish purple, actually. Hmm, how purple though? I think that's something like this between, okay, saturation, let's see. Okay, okay, I like that it's something special, uh, just because, you know, it's like a, a classic Subi Blue, but it does have like a twist on it, and, uh, okay, it's not gonna be 100% bright, just because that is extremely bright, like a little bit, let's say 93% sure and saturation, uh, okay, I would say that that looks good. I like that paint, sure, let's go for that. Anyways, uh, next up, uh, we have the tuning, and we're actually gonna go for a stance here. Actually, shout out to Gearhead, because he contacted me on Discord yesterday and told me how to change the size of the rims. Um, yeah, so, uh, honestly, that is pretty cool. It makes uh, a lot of a difference. Sure, let's put 18s on it. Uh, granted, we will uh, kind of have to... Uh, adjust this accordingly. Also, we're gonna drop the card a little bit. Sure, sure. Nine, nine appears to be fine. Anyway, rim diameter. <laughs> oh my god! Like just all the meme options uh, with the whole stance thing are crazy. Anyways, rim width. Let's see. It's nine. Um, does the width really make sense? Oh my god! You can you can see me being a noob in action now. Anyway, sidewall though. Isn't that the? Yeah, that's uh, that's how. Uh, like tick the whole thing appears to be and you can't really change it all that much so there is that anyways tire stretch so let's take a look at what all of these different options do um definitely gonna make the car more even though um anyway camber man i'm i'm not gonna use the camber though i i don't like the way that looks 
and we're also not gonna use the spacer because uh, that also looks kind of ridiculous. It's sorry, it's just not appealing to me, <laughs> you know. Anyways, uh, tower stretch. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, that there was definitely a visual glitch from a specific angle over there, uh, but that should be um, fixed by the time the game comes out. Uh, sure, let's just do ten. The same as it is over there uh, we can actually see some glitches taking place but again this is like the very early version of the game so i suppose that is fine anyways let's see what else we can do we can dino the car um sure sure let's run the dino mm, that's gonna take one gold anyways uh we appear to have okay around 360 horsepower that's pretty cool sure Anyways, let's take a look at how quick this thing is now. So I believe we did we did like 15s uh, the last time we were here with a stock car. So this should be a lot better. Anyway, he, he runs 14s. That's not true. He ran like a 30 second quarter mile the last time we raced him. Anyways, yeah, the car looks great. <laughs> I, I love this like menu of, you know, the cars being like placed against each other. Uh, that is probably the coolest visual of the game. Um, I I love the way that looks. Anyways, let uh, let's kick this guy's ass now, and we're still not gonna do a proper burnout because we can't. Also, the Subaru is still four-wheel drive. You can actually see a little bit of the detail in the interior, which is cool. And we do have NOS now. Actually, if I do it like in a really specific way, it uh, sometimes works for a little bit. But anyway, let's just call him a, a noob while we are doing a bad burnout. Dude, I can do a burnout and then the game bullies me. Come on. Anyways, we can also purge the NOS. Anyways, let's fucking go. Fuck, I definitely messed up that. Still though, it really doesn't matter. The bots, uh, similar to racing gravels, they kind of suck. Anyways, throwing fucking noob stickers at him. Uh, the car looks great, honestly. Holy shit, okay, that's, uh, you know, those 200 horsepower definitely made a difference. This is like three seconds quicker. And honestly, this is the perfect color that we chose. Perfect, anyway. It's definitely a thumbnail picture. I, I love the way, honestly, okay. Mm, so yeah, we were like almost six seconds quicker than him. Uh, okay, okay. And a good reaction time. What? Dude, I unironically got a good reaction time. Holy shit, that is by far the best RT that I've gotten. I'm definitely gonna be screenshotting and flexing with that. Holy shit. Anyways, we got four street cred. Wonderful. Uh, let's actually see uh, how quick we can run the car on the 6th street bridge because this is the one where the game does the launching automatically for you so actually this might be a better comparison uh, because i can do a proper burnout anyways let's run the park sure and let's run <laughs> the same uh well not the same but you know there's obviously you know identical bots in both the dust and race track and the 6th street bridge anyways Dude, I fucking love the visuals of this game. It looks so good. It really, oh my god, it looks spectacular. Anyways, uh, we're gonna have a, a race on easy mode now because we don't have to do the burnout, which we can do anyway. And uh, yeah, the game is gonna launch automatically for us as well. Uh, meaning that basically we just have to rev and then shift. Also purge the NOS, which I guess that's a cool feature. Uh, would be funny if that depleted your NOS though. Anyways. Okay, okay. Actually having a quicker car, uh, it is gonna be interesting, you know, eventually when quicker cars like, uh, you know, like the, I don't know, for example, the Nismo G3 make it in Auto Legends, and I don't know if that car is actually gonna be in the game, but if it is though, um, yeah, I do see the racing being a bit of a challenge, which is exactly what one would hope for. My god, it looks so good. So let's see, we actually did... Um, a slower time than we did previously okay okay uh, that's pretty cool anyways so yeah uh, this video was basically just a bit of a show off to you know uh, show you guys what the car upgrading is like so please let me know do you guys like what you see also this menu over here is pretty cool win rate of 72% yeah I do suck a little bit but you know hey it is what it is number 52 on the leaderboard meaning that people are actually playing this game anyways um, 
yeah, I hope you guys liked the build and the whole demonstration of what, you know, the game mechanics look like. Um, obviously, it's, yeah, it's a work in progress. There are glitches, but, you know, there are glimpses of a fantastic game over here. And honestly, I can't wait for you guys, for all of you guys, to be able to play as well so we can finally get in the lobby and just pink slip the shit out of each other. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Take care.